Tell me about texture. Texture. It's again, it's for light. You know, it's all done for a reason. The, you know, the stuff downstage it gets more um, more detailed and more heavy as you get upstage. It gets smoother, and then up beyond that, painting. So you like it's like a bar relief. Right. And where, what, what light sorts out, you know, whatever light catches, you look at it and. Evaluate. And there's more texture downstage because the audience is depends closer to it. Depends on what you're doing. Depends, yeah. Depends and it on smooths out as you go further away from that's the audience. Mostly, that's sort of classical, classical right. bar relief, you know, uh, a classical shadow box or a classical. I mean, the ancients have done it. All I'm doing is, is revisiting the old world, which I love. The old so world ignorant. is full of marvelous tricks, marvelous, marvelous tricks. The, the gauzes, for instance, the gauze and lighting is the oldest trick in the book. It's hundreds of years old. And still, you put a gauze on stage, bring up the lights behind it, and <gasps> magic. Mm -hmm. And um, in Zeffirelli, a couple of operas, used to put a black bobinet downstage of his operas. Fine, 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 fine black film. And then the singers, they perform behind that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. Psychologically, for singers, it's not good, but for the audience, it's magic time because all the edges are softened. You're looking at a painting, right? And that's what I'd like to think I can do: is make it look like a, a you know, depending on the piece, like a painting. And Why aren't you a painter? Because I've worked in the theatre all my life. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I were. <laughs> 